assalamu alaikum welcome back everyone um, we were discussing the billing capacity model application to various problems involving the design analysis this is the practice problem number seven that we are going to discuss it's again a solved problem in our handouts um, this is uh, a hundred one thousand three hundred and fifty kilonewton column load is to be supported on a square spread footing pounded in a clay with unranged field strength of 150 kilopascal. The depth of the embedment D will be 500 millimeter and the soil has a unit weight of 18.5 kN per cubic meter. The groundwater table is at a depth below the bottom of the footing. Uh, using a factor of safety 3 determine the required footing width. So the groundwater is at a depth means it's significantly deep. That's what we can assume here. If we quickly draw this problem, that would something look like this. That's 0.5 meter. Here's a load of 1350 kilonewton the c value or the su value is the same is that 150 kilopascal water table is too deep to be considered maybe in this problem as the statement urges us and it's a uh, column we need to determine this width of the square column factor of safety to be used is 3 as usual and gamma value is 18.5 kilonewton per cubic meter right that's your problem and anything else that we forgot nothing we move forward um, that's the statement that is written on top of it and that's our solution starts with first determining the um, overburden pressure very simple there is no involvement of the groundwater table so this term is going to be 0 u that is for water pressure then we are using the standard Terzaghi's model after Terzaghi for the square foundation you need to use the fact shape factors as well the ultimate shape bearing capacity turns out to be 1121 kilopascal the factored bearing capacity that is called allowable bearing capacity turns out to be 374 kilopascal and then you need to <coughs> get the uh, the gross safe bearing safe bearing capacity that includes the um, load over the so you you're going to actually equate it this allowable bearing capacity to be equated with the load over area of the foundation plus the backfill gamma df right so same is here you can see we've equated it b is the unknown in this uh, equation so it turns out to be 1.93 it's a weird number so we are reporting b is equal to 2 meter that is actually much better so as it is mentioned over here 2 so i think this is a very straightforward problem and um, we can solve so many problems i mean so such such so problems um, all day long there was nothing fishy in this except one statement that is water table is at a depth at a depth means we can ignore it its effects and that's what exactly we did with this u thing you can see u equals to zero here u equals to zero here is well moving forward to the next problem that is a bearing wall for a proposed building is to be supported on a 24 meter inches deep continuous footing founded in an unsaturated clay sand the load from this wall will be 4 kilo pounds per feet that is a linear load line load and these are because it's a strip foundation by the way so if you draw this it turns out to be something like this continuously moving towards one side load is line like this 
is 4 kilo pounds per feet. Length is indefinite, width of the foundation can be any. And now we got the load from this wall as uh, soil C dash of the soil. C dash of the soil is 100 pounds per feet square. Phi dash, it's a C phi soil, so phi dash is turning out to be 28 degrees. Gamma value is 119 pounds per cubic feet. The groundwater table is at a very great depth. Don't really worry about that. No, no water table, table you can say. No water table. And uh, compute the required footing width to maintain a factor of safety equals to 3. Words can be any, but the meaning is the same against the building capacity failure. All right. Unless you draw a free body diagram, you can never understand your problem at hand. So always do this. Draw a free body diagram like I did without using any, you know, special scales or anything. Just visualize the problem, what you're going to do. Um, the depth of the foundation is mentioned as two feet, as you can see in the statement early on. That is 20 inches deep. All right. You go to the table uh, as per your five values of 28 degrees. Determine this table number can be any. This is just actually taken from a handout. So uh, you can opt to go to this table and you can take your value of uh, NC and Q and Gamma. Anyway, we come back to our problem. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not concluded yet. Again, there is no mention of the groundwater table, so this term is zero, as you can see over here. Overburden pressure is determined. Then we use the model, the bearing capacity model. Uh, we all know that shape factor for the continuous foundation is one, whether it is SC or S gamma. And then Q ultimate is determined, but the width is not known to us yet because we are designing this foundation, and width is an unknown, so we'll put width. As an unknown, we will keep it in the original equation. Factor of safety is 3, dividing uh, the entire value of Q ultimate. You can see with the factor of safety, B is still there. Now we all know that our loading should be equal to the linear load divided by the width of the foundation. As you can see over here, plus the backfill. This term is called backfill. And this term is called surcharge or overburden. All right. And this is the pore, pore pressure, pore water. Pressure. And uh, you determine the value of B by equating it with your allowable bearing capacity that is this thing and uh, finally your answer turns out to be b is equal to 1 feet and 9 inches quite reasonable i think this is this can be called 1.75 feet as well you can make it 2 feet more logical and then you can back calculate the vector of safety and report your back vector of safety so this is up to you this is still a very good number and you can um, you can rely on this okay so we'll now quickly see your uh, assignments and I, I can if there is anything tricky I probably can suggest anything or otherwise we can discuss that in the class uh, to avoid elongating this video beyond requirements but we'll have a look at your assignment in the class I think thank you very much and uh, you need to resolve these problems using the other approaches as well who can be used over here ground conditions are not mentioned there is no inclination so uh, that's why we could solve this from general building capacity equation that is this one however i will urge you to solve this through the zagis model through mirov through hansen through basic so you should know how to practice and how to design it using various approaches and then you can use actually the value of the width that is more suitable coming from a, a different method okay so these are the references for from where we obtained all this stuff thank you very much now we will have discussion in the class after a short break thank you